Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to rename effects instances. This can be useful if you're using more than one of the same effect in an effects chain. You may have other reasons you'd like to rename effects as well. Let's take a look at a practical application for this. The project I've got open is a template that I've been helping to set up for a church in South Africa. We'll likely be using the same project for a few more tutorials in the future, but for right now, let's just take a look at the master track. The effects bus for the master track, you can see that I've got two instances of Reacom. My first one has a short attack and release, and this is used to help capture some of the peaks and keep them under control. My second compressor has got a medium attack and a much longer release, and this is used to help glue the mix together. Now, I know this by looking at the attack and release values, which one is which, but unless I open up the effects chain and take a look at these values, it's very difficult to know which one is which just by seeing the names in a list. If I accidentally get one of these out of order, it can become tricky really quick. One way to resolve this issue is by renaming that instance of the effect. If I choose my first Reacomp, I can right-click that and choose Rename Effects Instance from the menu. In the dialog that pops up, I'll just go to the end and remove Kakos and add Peak. In my first instance of Reacomp, nothing has changed in these values. The only thing that's changed is the name, and I can quickly identify either here in the Effects dialog or over here on the master track in the Effects list which one is Peak. I can also change the name with a keyboard shortcut. Let's highlight the second Reacomp, and I'll press F2 on my keyboard, and that launches the Rename Effects Instance dialog once that effect is selected. Just like I did on the first one, I'll delete Kakos from the end, and I'll add Glue, because I use this compressor for Mix Glue. Now if I close the Effects Chain dialog, I can still see which one is Peak and Glue in the Effects Chain on that track. I hope this helps. If you enjoy the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Patreon or the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. She's got to stop buying his decaf.